Gray is off. I'm Shari Williams. The big story on Action News is new information in a deadly shooting in Wilmington. We now know the victim was a Delaware bank executive shot and killed by a stray bullet earlier this week. Action News reporter Bob Brooks working the new details we're getting now live from the scene on the 700 block of North Washington Street in Wilmington. Bob. Well, Shari, what a tragedy. The victim has been identified as Carrie Mondell, and according to police, it was this past Tuesday she was traveling down after work down North Washington Street when she was hit by that stray bullet. She wound up crashing her car into a car that was parked along the road here, and today we learned she succumbed to her injuries, and tonight here at the scene, you can see members of the Wilmington Police Department here keeping watch, making sure things stay calm. It was this past Tuesday when the driver of this white Honda crashed into a parked car in the 700 block of North Washington Street in Wilmington. Police say she was simply heading home after work. And tragically, it turns out she was shot by a stray bullet that came through the passenger side and lost control. Well, today it was confirmed the victim died. And now she's been identified as Carrie Mondell, a senior vice president and director of operational risk management at WSFS Bank. The bank building is located just around the corner from the scene. Well, tonight the bank's president released a statement. Part of it reads, it's impossible to put into words the grief and shock we all feel. She was a caring and passionate person who served WSFS for more than 14 years. Carrie loved and supported her family and many friends. And according to detectives, Mondell was shot along with an unidentified 22-year-old man who's still hospitalized. And so far this year, Mondell is the 12th person to die from gunfire in Wilmington. Last year at the same time, 105 people had been shot, 24 of them fatally. But despite the statistical drop in gun violence numbers, Wilmington officials say what happened on North Washington Street is another painful reminder of how much work still needs to be done to put an end to gun violence. The mayor of Wilmington released this statement. We will continue to work with our law enforcement partners to apprehend the perpetrators of these senseless crimes caused by illegal gun use and remove them once and for all from our streets and neighborhoods. And Shari, another live look here at the scene with the police here, keeping things calm so far tonight in Wilmington. No reports of any shootings, unfortunately, in this case. No reports of an arrest just yet. From our reporting live in Wilmington, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Shari. Yeah.